Good morning, church. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege we have to bring our prayers before you through Jesus Christ. In heaven, the creatures say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. We come before you in our brokenness, Lord, and as we gaze at your holiness, we see our sin. There is none worthy of forgiveness, and yet you sent your Son to atone for our sin. Lord, we worship you, and we pray that in your mercy you would receive our prayers. Thank you for the body of believers at St. Barnabas. Lord, we praise you for our elders and for our pastor. And we thank you that your gospel work could continue through lockdown. And thank you that we could learn from the book of Mark. Lord, we praise you for the drop in COVID cases in our country. We praise you for the therapeutics that have been discovered and for the research that has advanced. And we just pray that as we go into summer that the cases would continue to drop and that life could get back to some form of normal again. Father, as things do get back to normal and as the economic situation improves, we just pray that our hope and our strength would be in you, that our confidence wouldn't be in ourselves and in our own efforts, Lord. Father, we pray for those who have suffered a loss of a loved one during this time, and we ask for your comfort to be with them and that they would seek your face in their suffering, Lord. We also pray for those who have lost their jobs and income. We pray that you would provide for their needs. Father, at this time, may your church be the salt and light to the world through the power of the gospel. Father, we commit the families of our international students to you. Lord, we pray that you would comfort them as they are separated from one another. And we pray that as December comes, that the brothers would be able to travel home to their families and be reunited. Father, we bring before you specifically our brother Jock's village in Sudan, which has undergone terrible flooding. Father, please will you protect his family and please will the church come together and uplift the community. We pray that they would remember you and that they would seek your face in their difficult times. Father, as we look forward to the members meeting at the end of October, we pray for our members, church members, and for the elders that um, we would have wisdom in voting. And we pray for our new elder privilege. Please will you strengthen him and build him up for the task to serve your church, Lord. Now and to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Jesus Christ through all generations, forever and ever. Amen.